but I'm leaving Shias where my family is from and it's been really great exploring it. I'm on the next train to Liechtenstein and I'm so glad I came here. Good morning beautiful people. I am in Liechtenstein. I just arrived one hour ago and I checked into my hostel and now I'm ready to go explore this teeny tiny little country. Just walking down the street and look what I came past. It's the Danish consulate. Nice. I didn't even know we had one. <laughs> Apparently the prince has his own vineyard, very close to the castle, and this is it. That's pretty cool, I've never been in an actual prince's vineyard before, and you can walk through it. Liechtenstein was named after the Austrian prince Anton von Liechtenstein, and one of the only countries left named after a person. castle and stunning hiking trails are some of the only attractions in this country. So I'm heading out to find that castle. There are a lot of vineyards within the Vaduz city um, limits. It's quite nice. I want to fix up those sheds and live in them. They're so cute. It feels a little bit like everyone who has money or wants to be associated with a prince. They kind of have their houses up this road leading up to the castle. <laughs> Some of them are enormous, like huge mansions. I'm not by any means a hiker, but there's something about walking. I really like walking. Walking up this hill, you see the view from all different kinds of angles and it's just good for your mind. It's like mind therapy. But to me, it seems a little bit weird that these princes of Liechtenstein, they never even visited this place. They got chased out of Hitler in 1938. And then they remembered, oh, we have this small little country that none of us have ever been to. They renovated an old castle that had been used as a prison and tavern, and they've been living here ever since. But what do you think? Doesn't it seem kind of weird? You have a country, but you never really visited it, and then all of a sudden you come back, and then you have all the power there? Hmm, it just doesn't sit quite right with me. Don't want to get in any trouble with Liechtenstein, though. It's a great place. It's just a little funny. This looks more like a fortress than a castle, but it's a very nice fortress castle thingy. At first I didn't really understand why they wanted to live all the way up here, but I see now because of the view, of course, privacy, and they want to see the country that they rule, probably. I actually feel like I'm in some kind of dream. Very good, but very surreal dream because everything is so incredibly beautiful. It's like it was staged. You have the castle on one side, the mountains, the Alps in the background. Down at the bottom, you see the Rhine River. And then you have this needle pin street leading up to here. And the guy is fixing the hay. And it actually smells like fresh hay. So I'm just like, oh, it's like, it is really like a dream. It's incredible. We always have new adventures coming up, so don't forget to subscribe to join us and see where we're heading next. Ich spreche nicht sehr viel Deutsch, aber es ist sehr warm und dann muss man ganz viel Wasser trinken. Cheers. Yeah, I'm not perfect at German, I know. Sorry to all you German-speaking people out there, but I try.